Ladies and gentlemen, it is a Wednesday. It is, let's see, Friday was the 14th. So, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I mean, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So today is the 46th of 1819. No. Yes? No? 19th? Yes. Wednesday, January 19th. If the person behind me knew I had just touched my phone, they would be livid. But the truth is, there's lots of traffic, and I can't go until the traffic's gone. But that does not preclude him from seeing me as the obstacle because I am the obstacle that he can see. All right, let's do what we do. I kind of like that song sometimes. find yourself thinking if you don't have something nice to say, don't say something, anything at all? That is uh, what Thumper's mother said in Bambi from 1943, maybe? What year was Bambi? 1943? Snow White was 37. Pinocchio was... 41, 40, Bambi was 42, maybe. All right, somebody check it. some kind of loss of innocence. When you listen to the Eagles lyrics, they talk a little bit about drugs, they talk a little bit about sex, but it's not really sex, drugs, and rock and roll. I mean, it's rock and roll, but it's not, you know, they just seem like guys. They don't seem like they are trying to lose their minds with and be with as many women as possible. It just seems like they're musicians who are skilled and popular and then Hotel California comes along and you say to yourself, huh, did they sell their souls to the devil? It's easy to see people who are artists who are harsh and dark as being pretend Satanist or Satanist. But the California Los Angeles San Francisco influence has definitely led us as Americans and the world down a 
particular path in the California dream. They might call it Tinseltown because it's not genuine, or they might call it um, Sodom and Gomorrah, or they might call it, you know, who knows what they'll call it. I believe that there's always a battle between good and evil. These gentlemen, I want to believe, are on the good side. But if you're into conspiracy theories, and if you're into what do lyrics really mean, and if you know that Lucifer was the choir director in heaven, <laughs> then your eyes are a little more open. People can say things, people can sing things, people can sing things in a song that they cannot say without getting slapped. If you say the lyrics to a particular song, you'll be shunned because of how lewd they are. But you can hear that same song in the grocery store because it has music with it, it somehow has a past. And I was thinking about the show that I'm in right now. It just throws in something at the very end. It's like, haha, this is cute. And a lot of people wouldn't think that that is cute. A lot of people would think that that is wrong. But of course, due to all these references, less people think it's wrong now because it's been the subject of so many lyrics and injected in so many narratives. And now people call bad good and good bad and there you go. So what is Hotel California really about? That's a good question. You can study those lyrics for days, you know, they're, they're just very interesting lyrics, and, um, California's the only state I haven't been to that you would think I would have, um, with all the traveling I've done, it's the only state that's on the normal route that I haven't been to, and there's a good reason for that, and it's just a legal thing. But the Hotel California, I think I might research the lyrics a little more sometime. Um, it's definitely a good piece of music with some darker undertones. And um, eh, that's all I'll say about it at the moment. All right. Happy January 2022 is the 19th. 